Christian here, Everything Residential. Today I wanna to talk about doing a service panel upgrade to your house. We are here in Chandler, Arizona. Let's dive right into it. As you can see right off the bat, this is cockeyed. Reason being is because our new panel doesn't have the exact dimensions as this old panel right here. So as you can see, they have a separate meter box and all the newer panels, they have the meter box attached. So it's a tad bit smaller, so you gotta cockeye the pipe. Um, Anyways, going into it, you want to make sure your branch circuits, your 12 threes, your 14 threes, they're on different phases of power. Uh, diving more into it. We have three ground rods. We have, no, excuse me, we have three grounding methods. We have a ground rod over here. Eight foot ground rod going into the ground. Less That has to be less than a 45 degree angle with our acorn attached. As you come over here, we've got another ground rod right in here somewhere. Boom. Okay, and then you follow along over here. We're grounding it to our copper pipe right here, boom. Now, if you had a gas line, you'll probably have to attach that one to the gas line too. That way, we're you know everything's getting grounded correctly. Uh, going to our main supply of power coming in, you want to make sure you have this Unistrut. Uh, they're going to look for that right here, so this is solid. And before you do your service panel upgrade, if you're going to do one, make sure it's not loose at the at the bottom here. This can get rusted out over time. The base of this two-inch pipe or two and a half-inch pipe, and it can get rusted out. And if it moves around, they're gonna have you dig a big hole and replace this pipe. It's on you, not the city or APS or SRP. It's on you, the homeowner or the co um, contractor. Uh, one other thing coming on the side here, on every panel upgrade, you gotta make sure you have a piece of sheet metal behind it. That's the new thing you gotta do, piece of sheet metal behind it. And if you want to, you can put silicone or caulk behind that panel. And uh, other than that, it's pretty simple, straightforward. And if your wires, here's another good one. If your wires are not long enough, just add a wire nut. It's okay, this is considered a junction box. So if I took this off, you would see I had multiple ground and multiple neutral wires that were not long enough. So I wire nutted it real good, put some tape on of it if that makes you sleep good at night. And uh, we ran it up to our neutral bar where it fit. So anyways, that's just some tips and tricks for you guys if you're gonna do it. If you're interested in getting a service panel upgraded from us, check out the website down below and you guys have a good day.